One of the great things about summer is the abundance of fresh vegetables, and it requires a lot of weeding, watering, and fertilizing to achieve that goal. And nothing is more upsetting to a gardener than watching their hard work being destroyed by pests. So what we're going to do today is look at several common insect pests of the home garden. You may have walked through your garden and noticed some leaves missing on your tomato plant. If you look to the ground, you may also notice some cubed shaped dropping. This is caused by the tomato hornworm. It gets its name by the spike or projection located on its back end. The tomato hornworm will feed for several weeks. At this point it will drop to the ground, burrow, and pupate. It emerges in the spring as a sphinx moth. At that time it locates a suitable host such as a tomato plant, lays its egg, and continues its life cycle. One of the best ways to control the tomato hornworm is by simply picking it off the plant and disposing of it. Mother Nature also has a way of controlling this pest. A tiny parasitic wasp will fly onto the worm and lay its eggs. Over time, the larva of this parasitic wasp will feed on the tomato hornworm and lead to its demise. A common insect pest found in squash, gourds, and pumpkins is the squash bug. The adult lays its eggs on the underside of the leaf, between the leaf veins. Out of the egg will emerge nymphs, and in large enough quantities, they will cause browning and leaf death. The best way to control this pest population in the nymphal stage is with the use of insecticides. Vine crops also attract another pest, the spotted and striped cucumber beetle. The major concern with these two is that they have the ability to pick up a bacterium and when they feed on a vine crop plant, they can transmit this bacteria and cause Stewart's Wilts disease. This is a total collapse of the plant. In those situations, an insecticide may be needed. We've only scratched the surface of insect pests that can be found in a home garden. If you find something that is puzzling to you, Take a sample to your local county extension office and someone would be happy to help you with identification and ways to control that pest for you. A copy of the program you've just seen can be purchased through Penn State Media Sales at mediasales.psu.edu or by calling 800-770-2111.